channel so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now I get a lot of requests to do Too Faced chocolate bar palette looks so today I went through my palette drawer pulled this baby out and came up with this look it's kind of a purpley plummy eye with some big lashes and then this lilac lip which is the Kelly Osbourne um, limited edition I think it's called dodgy girl lipstick which I'm really digging right now especially with my green top I think it looks really cool very Barney-esque <laughs> yeah so if you're interested in getting this look then please keep watching hey guys so my brows are on I'm gonna start off by laying down some scotch tape at the corner of my eye so I take a piece of tape and I put it on the back of my hand and then peel it off that's gonna make it a little less sticky so it doesn't like hurt your eye and I lay it up from the corner of my eye up to the edge of my eye eyebrow and I place it down right there and the reason I do this is so that we get that nice clean edge it makes our eye look look a lot cleaner and nicer and a little more crisp and I've been loving doing this trick lately now that our tape is on we're gonna prime our eyes I am going to use the Mac painterly paint pot I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid with my finger and the eyeshadows that we're going to use today are all part of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I've had this for a little while now and I haven't really played with it too much so I figured I would today. So I'm first going to go into this shade over here called Salted Caramel and I'm going to put that on an E40 brush from Sigma. And I'm going to work that into the crease as our transition shade. So right above the crease, I'm just going to buff that in circular motions. And if you can see, it just adds a little more warmth to the eye and a little bit of depth. And now I'm going to go into this shade over here called Semi-Sweet on an E25 blending brush. And this is going to go on the outer portion of the crease, right under that salted caramel color. And you're mainly just going to focus it in the outer corner and then drag it in, but we don't really want this on the inner corner. And I'm going to take my E40 brush again and just blend that all together. And now on this E32 Exact Blend Brush, we're going to go into this ready shade down here called Cherry Cordial. And we're going to run this directly through the crease, slightly cutting it, but it's going to be a nice soft cut crease. And you want to kind of tilt your head back so that you can see directly into the crease. And we're not going to go all the way into the inner corner. We're just going to kind of stop like around here. And once again, I'm going to go back with my E40 brush and blend everything. I'm also going to take that cherry cordial and kind of connect it to that outer corner. So just pat on some color right down here, just on the very outer corner. And now on an F70 concealer brush, just because it's slightly smaller than the E55 eye shading brush, I'm going to go into this really pretty shade called Black Forest Truffle, and we're going to put this on the lid. And I'm not going to go all the way into the inner corner. I'm going to stop about there. And now on this E47 crease brush, it's a very, very tiny crease brush. I'm going to go into this shade over here called Triple Fudge. It's a very nice matte dark brown. And I'm going to put that through the crease again because I want a little more definition. I'm going to go back with my E25 brush and blend our crease work out and since our lid is slightly shimmery I'm gonna highlight under the brown under the brow with this white chocolate matte cream color and then for this inner corner where we haven't put any sh color yet I'm gonna go into marzipan which is I think my favorite shade of the palette it is so gorgeous I'm gonna take that on the same e55 brush and we're gonna just pat that in to that inner corner and blend it into the to the um, triple 
black forest truffle color <laughs> and that's gonna just brighten up the eye because this lid color is very dark and I definitely want some winged liner for this look so I'm gonna use the elf cream eyeliner in black and I'm gonna put that on with this EO5 liner brush Okay, so my winged liner is on and it's all over the tape as you can see, but the nice part about this is when I peel it off, it'll be the most crisp line that we could ever get with our eyeliner. But that's why I love this little tape trick. So now I'm going to just do a quick coat of my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara just to prep for some false lashes. And the false lashes I'm going to go with today are these Town of Lashes Kissable false lashes. These are made of human hair and they're really really nice and full so I think they'll go great with this darker eye. Okay guys, now my lashes are on. They're pretty intense but I kind of like it. So now I'm going to peel off the tape so that we can see what a nice clean edge we get with it. Perfect. So now that the top of the eyes are basically done, I'm going to go do my face makeup. I'm actually filming a first impression review, so I'm going to go do that now. And then I'll be back to finish up the rest of the face. So see you in a few. Okay guys, I'm back with my face on. I am actually doing a first impression review of some foundation and concealer. So when that is up, I'll link it down below for you guys to check out. But anyway, I'm gonna zoom you in now so that we can finish up on the eyes. So for under the eyes, I'm gonna go in with an E15 flat definer brush and this shade called Triple Fudge in the corner, which is that dark brown. I'm dipping it into the wrong thing. And then we're just gonna press that into the lower lash line. This is gonna be our like fake eyeliner because I don't wanna put eyeliner under my eyes right today. So we're going to make some with some shadow. Yeah, so I'm going to take my E30 pencil brush and I'm going to go into Salted Caramel, that first transition shade that we used. And we're going to just blend out that triple fudge color under the eye. Smoke it out really nicely. And the trick to this is just to keep blending. Because at first it might look weird, but the more you blend, the better it'll look. I'm actually going to go back into triple fudge with that flat definer brush and redefine. And now I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with that same Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is, we all know, my favorite mascara of all time. I'm trying very hard to get my lower lashes on camera. Got most of that on. Ah! Oh my god. I always do that. I always miss the whole pause. And get mascara all over my finger. Now I'm gonna break out something new that I have here to contour my face. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I just got it in the mail today, I mean yesterday, and I'm excited to use it. So I think I'm gonna go into the second darkest uh, contour shade. I think this is called, I actually have no clue what it's called. Um, but I'm gonna take that on my FO5 brush and I'm gonna go right under my cheekbones and contour. And around my forehead. How do I feel about this? I really like this. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out so that we can kind of see my face a little better. Okay, and since we've got kind of like plum tones on the eyes, I'm gonna go with NARS Sin for blush. I'm gonna take that on an F40 brush, my favorite blush brush. I'm like obsessed with this blush right now. It's so beautiful. And then for highlight, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this shade right here in the contour kit. I think that's called vanilla, but I could be wrong. It's like slightly shimmery. Go with the tops of my cheekbones. Wow, I love this one. Ooh, that's like subtle, but still sparkly. <gasps> oh, I love it. Okay, and for lips, I'm going to go with this MAC Kelly Osborne lipstick in Dodgy Girl. It's the lilac shade. And this was limited edition. Sorry if you didn't get it, but I haven't used it yet, and I really want to. Okay guys, and that is basically it for the look. I will zoom you in a little closer so you can see it. 
Okay guys, that is basically it for the look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did, and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Leave me comments down below telling me what your favorite shades of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette are, so that I can maybe play around with them and do some more looks with the palette. And as always, if you recreate this look, please hashtag SuperAshley127 on Instagram or Twitter so that I can see your beautiful faces. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!